knows your name. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched the beginning of this video, you sort of saw something? It is true, I'm expecting baby number two, alhamdulillah. I try not to get emotional because I've tried to film this too many times and I got emotional too many times. But essentially, I have been waiting for this for a while and alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to say that I am pregnant with my second child. Um, I'm just gonna wish for all your prayers and your well wishes because the first trimester was no joke. Actually, first trimester leaking into the second trimester, I'm 22 weeks and only two weeks ago has my life sort of become a little normal. Like, anyways, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that I can finally share this news with you and it could sort of explain my behaviors the past six months-ish. Um, it's just been intense. It's been intense. I always come on here and say that, but it actually is in the best way possible. Uh, I've missed you. I've missed my mom. I've missed my best friend. I actually miss my best friend Neelab's wedding. You guys all know Neelab. Like, she's been on here for years and years and years. I had to miss her wedding. I'm gonna get into the details and the goss with you guys properly in this video because we need to sit down and talk sis. I have so much to tell you. And now that I can tell you, I'm... I have a lot to say. <laughs> this vlog, what is this vlog gonna be about? I'm gonna talk about my pregnancy. I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna take you along with me on th certain things I did this week. And yeah, it's just gonna be uh, connecting with you guys again after I've been missing for a while. I've been on my butt watching movies and TV non stop because I couldn't do anything else. I was just, I had more, a morning sickness 24 7. And all I did was catch up on a ton of TV shows and movies and yeah, so this video is partially sponsored by Sky TV. I'm going to talk about a sh movie that I recently watched that was very different. I'm very excited that I am a part of the Sky Cinema Club. Uh, I got to go to the Game of Thrones premiere. I'm going to another major premiere uh, in three days, literally the day before my birthday. I can't really say what it is. But it's major, and I honestly get to, uh, movies and TV is like a huge part of my life. It's pretty much how I relax, and me time usually involves television, takeout, on the sofa. I know, I know, it's just what it is, it's the truth, okay? I'm sorry, I don't have healthy habits sometimes. But yeah, uh, I've been watching new movies, and I want to talk about a new movie I watched the other day. It's called After Yang. So it has Colin Farrell and this beautiful actress, Jodie Turner, who was actually uh, in the movie Queen and Slim, which I really love that movie. That movie, honestly, I haven't had a lot. Of, I never haven't heard a lot of people talk about that movie. It was really a movie. Queen and Slim, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But um, it's basically like a futuristic metaverse fictional movie. It's quite deep and quite like zen. It takes place in the future where actually... I'm not gonna lie, the interiors, it's a vibe. It's actually a vibe. The minimal outfits. It's like a utopian fictional movie. It takes place in the future where people actually um, have robots that are very humanistic, if that makes sense. Um, and it talks about the family who has Yang, who is a robot, who's actually Chinese, and their adoptive daughter is Chinese, and they got a human-like robot, which is very normal. Every family has one, okay? They, they become like a sibling to your actual human babies. Um, and they got a Chinese robot, so he could sort of teach their adoptive daughter more about her culture. Um, the mother is uh, black, and then the father is Colin Fl Farrell, who is white. And it's a very, it's a very strange but interesting movie. Totally different approach from other Colin Farrell movies, to be honest. Actually, his character is very different. Um, he's very zen. He's very relaxed. Usually, I kind of picture Colin Farrell as like a bad boy, but he's not in this movie. He's a dad. And it kind of covers grief and also the future and technology and how robots are s become so realistic that it's like they have a soul anyways you should check it out they have a ton of new movies coming out every week um that's one i watched yesterday i will leave all the details down in the description box if you want to watch the trailer if you want to check out a few other movies that i've seen stay tuned i'm going to talk about movies um i'm trying not to spoil it for you when you become a sky cinema member you get access to a ton of new movies blockbuster movies that have literally just come out of the theaters or 
um, old iconic hits that are available to watch as many times as you like. It is quite addictive and it's like my number one place now to binge all my TV shows on multiple <laughs> and movies on multiple different platforms like you could have different apps on there as well yeah huge fan of sky so yeah uh check it out do you remember that movie ex machina this movie sort of gives me that vibe but it's a lot more zen and it's a lot more like emotional it's not as evil if we get to a point in the future artificial intelligence will be so human-like that they've already started taking over our jobs let's be honest like robots are working in fast food restaurants now um but becoming like a human and a member to society i believe it you know the city that i live in has many robots that you can get groceries from and it literally drives itself on the sidewalk to your house opens up and says here's your groceries what does that tell you there's literally robots and you know what when you stand in front of it it literally drives around you like, the intelligence in these things. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But anyways, I have so much to tell you. Yes, I'm pregnant with baby number two. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy about it. Um, I want to talk about certain things. Actually, let's just do my makeup and talk with you guys because I have so much to say. First off, I want to address a comment that... That really, it didn't get to me. It just really lingered in my mind. Um, someone left a comment on my page. And it was something like, Manal, you've changed. Your content's not like what it used to be. You are not like what you used to be. And I'm like, you know what? If I haven't changed, I've been on the internet for like 12 years. If I haven't changed, babes, I would be seriously concerned. I've changed so much for the better. I'm going to be 30 next week. 30 years old. And honestly, I have so much... To that I've learned in the past decade that if I knew I would, this is the person I would come out by the time I'm 30, be so open to change sooner in my life, okay? And anyways, it didn't really bother me, but it actually got me thinking, I'm going to be 30 next week, and I have so much to talk about in what I've learned in my 30s, running a business, people, friends, toxic energy, toxic people you come across, like just like negotiation and like like financial intelligence, all these things that I've learned, all these skills that I've developed, smelling bullshit from a mile away. Oh my God, I'm so good at that. But yes, I've changed so much. And I actually, it made me so proud to reflect and look back and be like, at first it kind of hurt me, but I'm like, you know what? Of course I've changed. Everyone should change in 12 years, especially from the age of 20 to 30. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of things to talk about and I'm going to have a lot of experiences and I'm going to come across a lot of people that cross me. I'm going to come across a lot of people that are have changed me for the better, have really changed the way I look at life. I'm going to read a lot of things. I'm going to educate myself on stuff. Yeah, I've changed. Of course I've changed. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. So I actually like, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me make a video on why I've changed. Let's start by that. What skills I've developed that I wish I've told myself at a younger age? What type of people or what type of situations I've put myself in in order to learn that I need to set boundaries? My, my scarf is slowly just... <laughs> One second. It has made me resilient. I'm proud of it. So where have I been this past 10 years? I mean, I would say probably the past few years. I haven't been very consistent on YouTube. I've been, I've been doing a lot. I've been doing so much. And I've been learning so much. And yes, I'm probably not going to be on here <sighs> giddy, dancing. I'm, I'm 30 next week. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't even got time to do my makeup. But when I do, girl, you know. We don't, we don't have us anything. We, we, but my point is, yes, I've changed. I'm sure you've changed with me. And I'm so excited in celebrating change. And I'm so excited to, to jump into my 30s and be the person I am today. My 20s was so chaotic. So chaotic. And so, I'm so grateful for every single chaos. Because let me tell you, I've learned from every single... <sighs> Every single roadblock that's literally slapped me in the face when it when it comes to my personal life, when it comes to my family, when it comes to my business, when it comes to just constant hardships, 
coming up with solutions if you knew so yes i've changed and you know what i'm so happy to say that i've changed and uh if it's not what you like i i'm okay with that and you know what that's fine i've I'm not gonna talk about how to browse every single video and do wing liners with you. No, it's gonna you're gonna get the real deal. Cause in your 20s and 30s, you don't got time for that stuff. You're trying to build your 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 empire. You're trying to you overcome the failures that you've come across. You're trying to learn from them and better yourself and educate yourself. Honestly, like the fact that this comment was said to me to try to hurt me, but in fact it was like so revolutionary to me because actually it was a reason for me to celebrate my growth yeah and it just makes me think like how many of us celebrate our growths we have like the most stressful chaotic lives sometimes and god throws the biggest roadblocks in our path but how many of us sit back and celebrate our growth celebrate overcoming those roadblocks because eventually you always do no matter what no matter how long it takes you are those celebrated and you're going to you're going to be the same person you were before you came across those hardships? No. No. If you are then God giving you those rules you haven't learned from them. Anyways, my point is I've changed. I've changed so much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with the person I am today. Um alhamdulillah, thank God. God has given me hardships has given me um blessings hardships the whole works and i'm grateful for every single one do our makeup i'm out of breath i'm out of breath all the time i'm like proper this is new this is by drunk elephant it's a ceramide eye balm okay first of all anything eye balmy super creamy sign me up because this part of my eye during the colder days gets dry and you know ceramide is really great with repairing the skin's barrier so yeah this is new and it's pregnancy safe because i googled it but yeah i've changed my body has changed ridiculously i went through being so insecure at one point where i wasn't even making videos and i was like what what now when I look at my body, oh my god, I watched this one interview, I don't know who it was with, but Oh, you know that girl that sings, it's all about that bass, about that bass Okay, so she was talking to somebody, maybe Trevor Noah, I don't know And she was basically like how she had um, insecurities with her body and she really couldn't even handle looking at herself in the mirror So she was instructed to literally stand in front of the mirror naked By the way, make sure you say bismillah because you don't want to be attracted to any, you know Anyways, if you know, you know uh, every time I get undressed, I have to say bismillah. But anyways, um, stand in front of a mirror and stare at yourself for five minutes. And like she was saying how like after the, after the first ten seconds, you're like, oh my god, this is so long. You try to like focus on something else. By the third day of staring at herself for five minutes in the mirror, she started to really love what she saw. She started to look at her thighs and be like, oh my god, those, those thighs are cute actually. You know, and she started looking at different things and she stopped noticing the negatives that immediately smacked her in the face. She started looking, noticing the positives that she never noticed the past five minutes of staring in the mirror. And I was like, oh my god, that's like literally life. That is literally life. Yeah, I really miss you. Oh my god. Oh. I miss my best friend's wedding. I couldn't make it. I was literally trying to escape the UK and I could not leave the country because I'm a criminal on the loose. No, okay. <laughs> Residency permit that expired that I had to reapply for, which I did like five months ago. I'm supposed to hear back in eight weeks from five months ago and no one's come back to me yet. And I've escalated it uh, eight times. Um, today I went to the studio. I did a few lookbooks. I'm going to show you guys my outfits, but it was successful. Hey guys, so we are heading to the studio. I figured I'd film like a few maternity looks because I got some pieces online, a few from H&M and some things that I had from before. So I figured, let me just film a quick maternity lookbook with you guys, try on some bits, see if they work. Um, I have no idea what outfits I'm planning. I, I essentially just took a whole bunch of stuff from my wardrobe and I'm gonna be putting it together at the studio. Then I have to head home, quickly film, um, an ad and 
edit this vlog and have this vlog ready so today's like an intense day yesterday was intense but you know what i'm feeling so good because you know what i'm so glad to be back to work the past few months like in the beginning of my pregnancy it was rough i thought i, I was gonna have nausea throughout my pregnancy but alhamdulillah now i'm at like 22 weeks and i'm finally feeling like myself i had plans to go and pick up the new iphone today um but it doesn't look like uh it doesn't look like that's gonna happen because it's just we're running a little behind but that's okay so yeah look i got the stuff just piled up in the back um i have a little suitcase i have some shoes i have like a laundry basket full of bags and purses and shoes so should be fun and i also have my helper hello hello This is the studio that we usually come to film in. This is where I go swimming. It's actually like an abandoned, like, grade eight, grade second, what was it, grade eight buildings? So grade listed. Say? Grade listed buildings. They're really cool. High ceilings, big windows, really rustic looking. Hey guys, I'm here at the studio. I'll give you a little tour. Um, we have this massive big white backdrop that flows down. They recently renovated this, like, storage area. We have this wall that has different backdrops. I love these big windows, they're so pretty. And this is new, this huge like incubator thing. Was never here before, but they just freshly painted it. So I could do some lookbooks on there. Um, and then here's like where I steam all my outfits. These are the outfits I'll be with. Oh, I'm so out of breath, I get out of breath so easily now. Um, no idea how I'm gonna be styling these pieces, but they're all maternity friendly. Hey guys. Okay, so this is my first outfit. Believe it or not, I already steamed this shirt, but for some reason, it's one of those shirts that wrinkle very easily. Um, but yeah, I just put on this like corset um, blouse over. I kind of don't look pregnant forward, but on the side I do. Um, and then I paired it with my loafers. These are the Prada ones and some just basic black pants. I guess I'd pair it with like this stod bag. Yeah. Good morning. How beautiful are these flowers? Ah, it's so pretty. Um, it was sent to me by Basma on a congratulations uh, for, you know, the special news, baby number two. And I actually ordered these already because I knew that she did a collaboration with Flowered uh, to a friend of mine who just had a baby. And she loved them so much, but I didn't really know what they look like in person. And it's really nice to kind of see what it looks like. So pretty. I have this Dior box. It basically was like a PR gift. And usually we recycle them because, I mean, there's no point. But this one's actually really nice. So can you guys help me figure out what to do with this? I was thinking of putting it on the coffee table and putting like the remotes and stuff in there. Um, or maybe like snacks. But it's very much like a living room vibe, isn't it? It has like a really nice cute texture. Love the color. I know I haven't done a proper kitchen reveal yet, but one thing I freaking love is having hot water on demand. It's like, where have I? This is so big. Like, it's always available, guys. I just pulled out a mug so I can make some tea. And tea bag in. And I just. And that's it. Hot water? It's a miracle! I mean, I cannot wait to show you guys like a proper kitchen reveal. Hoping to do it this month. But this hot water on demand, oh, you don't realize how much you wait for hot water until it's just instantly available to you. I'm just so grateful. I'm so glad we, we actually invested in this. So we're heading to Apple. What's wrong? I'm sorry. Okay, I love you. Mm, I love you so much. <sighs> so tired. We're heading to Apple. I'm actually wearing a new foundation today. You can still see my setting powder. Um, but it's by, I don't believe who it's by, Dolce & Gabbana. And it's like their, it's called their velvet foundation or something like that. It's so pretty. 
Like when I first put it on, I was a bit unsure. But doesn't it look really good, you guys? Anyways, let me show you my outfit. Yeah, so I got this sweater from H&M. These are some old pants that I just sort of... I'm just wearing all my stretchy bits. But yeah, it has like this button situation. So as I grow, I could wear it throughout my pregnancy and after. But it's cute. And then I'm wearing just these... These... Adam. Right, so we gotta go to Apple. I'm getting the new iPhone 4, which I'm really excited about. I can't transfer all the information on from this phone to the next phone, so I'm literally taking my laptop, my external hard drive, the whole works, giving it to them and be like, can you help me? <laughs> I'm so untechnical with technology. You wanna snack? Yeah, we gotta go. Yay! Wait, 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 boss. Adam! You say to go to the mall? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I just find it so strange when Amr does his own accent and it's really bad. I find it very preposterous that you are insinuating that. What? Um, what is happening? He's not functioning again. Okay, you guys, that was a little bit of a fail because they had no left, no iPhone 14s left. And I wanted to kind of exchange my old one so I can get some sort of credit. But I didn't know that if you bought it online, you could actually still send in your old phone. I guess I'm just gonna have to sort it out myself with transferring the data. Babe, do you know how to transfer the data? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I don't pretty know why I was tripping out. You just put the phones together, and it's like, you know how Jarvis looks like in Avengers? He doesn't it's know what he's talking about. No, listen to me. Listen I don't believe you. I'm telling you, it's like some circular thing. Guys, are you telling the, the truth? I'm telling you, listen, I've got it on my phone, so. Um, can I get the Go Nuts? Yeah. Um, are you having some with me? I'll have the regular. We got a banana, peanut butter, orange juice, yogurt, and honey. Mm. Well, I didn't get an iPhone, but I got a really good drink. <sighs> kind of bummed. I don't know why I assumed they would all be in stock. I could just walk right in there. Someone would be like, can I help you? And just sort out all my problems for me. But that's okay. At least I got a drink out of it. I'm not sure where Adam and Amar went though. Hey! You ready? Mm. Should we go? Yeah. You may be wondering why I'm being yelled at. I'm being yelled at because we've parked up outside of a coffee shop. It's called Chai Station. More customers have gone in now. See? They, 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 we could have been ahead of them. Is my tongue a really weird oh, shape? Three people went in now. Oh, Babe, so our dilemma is we were supposed to go inside and have brunch like a normal family. The homeboy here fell asleep, so we can't like wake him. You know what happens when you wake a toddler? It's like, <laughs> anyways, he's getting mad at me. I'm saying go in, order, and bring the food out. I was gonna check the menu online. The menu right there. The door. So we're gonna eat in the car. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Come on. No, there's not there's no space inside this pack. Actually, it's how do you know you haven't been? Tired. I just drove past it. I when I when it. you drove past it, it was I full. saw that it was half empty. No, well, four, four, four more people went in, so now it's now it's. How do you know they're eating in? They're eating in because they haven't come back out. You know what this? You know what this guy is so good at? Are you in? Okay, come on. No, I'm not even that hungry anymore. <laughs> Are you lying going, to my followers? This person's going to look at this Fine, I guess nobody's eating. Oh, baby, I'm good. I'm good too. Yeah, of course you are. You're the one who's got the cravings. No, not anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, you got the cravings. Cravings gone. That's it. Nice. Mm, Talk to me reason. nice. Talk to me for the, the, scenic, the scenic route. The scenic views. Okay, I'm gonna go, tell you one last time. Go in and Open order. the menu. Go in I will look order. at the menu and I'll tell you what I want. Go I want it too then. Alright, cool. <laughs> Say it already. He's... What? Just go. Guys, I always win. I always win no matter what. So we didn't end up beating the card because you know what? Some things are just meant to be eaten at home. But we have these bits. Okay, so we got some chicken biryani. Mmm, that smells so good. 
We got some samosa chaat, mm, extra tamarind sauce. And we got this um, wrap to share. It's like a chicken wrap. Looks cute. I like the packaging. This is most likely Adam's. Yes. Yum. This is so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, it's really good. I just want to say how proud I am of this wall. This is my entire Chinatown Co. stock that's packaged. And then behind the camera we have containers that still need to be packaged of so different colors. Um, but we got this IKEA unit. Uh, I added a clip of armor putting it together. It worked out perfect. The sizes of the cubbies are perfect. I mean, some of the places are a bit awkward. But we use them to store really cute things. Bits and bobs here and there. So we have this two unit situation happening on the right and then on the left with the same situation. <laughs> yeah, so Amr assembled this double desk, which is perfect because I have two of my helpers, staff come in and they are really close to one another and they literally just sit across from each other and they just get things done. Once we package all the orders, I call my Damien, my mailman, and he comes and he picks them up. So it's quite a smooth system we have. All I was lacking was a really nice, pretty storage unit, and now we have that, and I feel like, it, I'm so happy with it, guys. Don't worry, I'm not lifting. Uh, so, what I'm gonna quickly do is do an inventory check, check what colors and sizes are low in stock, pre-packaged, and make some. I really love about packaging each of my orders every single step of where and how the gown was crafted and made I can tell you that it's taken time in each step whether it, when it comes to cutting the material stitching the material hand crafting them steaming them ironing them engraving our label in each prayer gown and then not it doesn't stop there it, I know that it continues because we literally spend about five to six minutes gift packaging each and every order um, so there's like love and care put into every single step of my shop And I know I know a lot of people be like this is too time-consuming you're putting way too much work in um, Your orders. I mean even making them takes an incredibly long amount of time. It's like handmade by seamstresses It's not made in a manufacturing company um, It's like my seamstresses are paid. Well, these girls have better manicures than me <laughs> but my point is I could genuinely say that each and every single piece has been crafted with love and care. Um, and I'm just really, really proud of my shop. I know there's shortcuts that I could take. I know that there's so many different ways I can save on money and in costs and development and time of putting these things together. But I'm very happy with how it is right now. And I feel like when you receive it and my loyal customers acknowledge and appreciate that, if we've made like shortcuts and we've saved on costs on certain things like packaging and shipping and all these things, but that just takes away from where I, I envision this brand being. These kids are literally yelling. Let me just close one up. It's a small business. I do everything myself in my home with my staff and myself, and we're a small team, but I'm just so grateful that I'm able to do this and create something that I'm so, so, so proud of. And I got the sweetest message from one of my staff today. Ugh, I'm gonna get emotional. But it was just, it was just really sweet. And she just basically said this most kindest things to me and how um, she really loves working with Chinatown Co. and 
I guess it just made me really emotional and it just reminded me that the morals that I stick to, no matter what, it matters. It really matters. It matters from when you unbox these these prayer gowns and it's, it comes gets delivered to you like a gift. It matters on how it's made and how it's crafted and, and how my staff and my seamstresses are paid appropriately for what they are doing. It just it just matters. Like all these little things that add up that I've stuck to my guns. It 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 matters and it pays off. Like it really does. So I'm very I'm very proud of my shop. By the way, I got this water bottle from HomeSense and I've been drinking so much water because of it. What's in here? It's like like water flavor. You know those like it's not a cordial, it's like a water enhancer. Really good. I hope you enjoyed this vlog you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting videos. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and turn on the, the bell notification. Although YouTube does not show it to you. I mean, I've been really struggling with my videos. Um, but then again, it never really mattered to me how well or how not so well the video went. Like I genuinely love creating video uh, videos for you guys and when a video performs really well it's just like a bonus. I, all my videos have been performing so poorly which can be a bit discouraging but then again I do it because I love to do it so it just reminds me of like why I make these videos and if you are watching this video thank you. Thank you for remembering me, thank you for checking up on me and thank you for continuing to be a part of my online family. I, I really appreciate that. Anyways, <laughs> love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week and see you guys next time.